Do you know what natural capital is? Why it's important? How you can calculate it? If not, you certainly need to be in Edinburgh for the World Natural Capital Forum this November. My name is Julia Martin Lefebvre, and I'm the Director General of IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature. We at IUCN have been working to define the concept of natural capital, our planet's stocks of natural resources, such as air, water, and all living things. We've also been helping governments, companies, and civil society better understand, value, leverage, and protect these natural assets. Now, you may ask, why does this matter? The answer is simple. Every single business depends on nature, directly or indirectly. However, up until now, companies have been largely focusing on optimizing their financial capital with varying degrees of success. More recently, some of them have started to manage their social capital. But are they in a position to value and invest in their natural capital? Do today's CEOs and CFOs realize how strongly they depend on and benefit from the goods and services provided by nature? As with any other major development, natural capital accounting presents its own set of challenges and opportunities. On the risk side, it may mean a major overhaul of existing business models, particularly for businesses with complex supply chains. But let me emphasize this. Understanding, valuing, and investing in natural capital creates a whole new pool of opportunities that are waiting to be explored. It opens up new markets, particularly for biodiversity-rich countries and biodiversity-responsible companies. For example, global sales of eco-labeled products have shown some of the highest growth rates over the past decade. And according to a recent study, one-third of Botswana's total wealth comes from natural capital. Indeed, the richest countries and companies of tomorrow will be the ones who have invested wisely in their natural capital. And what do we risk if we continue to take our natural assets for granted? Scarce resources and soaring prices of raw materials speak for themselves. This is why today, governments, companies, and environmental organizations must work together to value and invest in the planet's natural wealth and the planet's well-being. And indeed, all of us must begin to value nature, which is simply our life support. My message to business leaders, therefore, is that now is the time to put natural capital at the heart of your business strategy. The cost of failing to do so now will be too high. Your return on this investment will be well worth it. I look forward to seeing you in Edinburgh.